Proverbs 14.30 says this, A heart at peace gives life to the body, but envy rots the bones. It's interesting that peace is contrasted with envy in this proverb. Those are two things that we wouldn't necessarily think have a connection. We usually think of peace as the absence of conflict, although the biblical idea of peace, uh, which grows from the word shalom, actually runs much deeper than that. But the reason that the writer of this proverb contrasts peace with envy is that they've rightly understood that envy is something that can rob us of peace. Envy is looking at others and wanting what they have instead of what you have. It's walking around and looking at people and thinking, I wish I had that person's money. I wish I had that person's looks or abilities or privileges. And envy isn't just discontent with what we have and wanting what someone else have. Envy also involves resentfulness towards the people that have what we want. It's a feeling that they don't really deserve those things, but we do. So because of that, envy can lead to all kinds of bad things like strained and broken relationships, hurt feelings, slander, theft, even murder. So envy is this negative emotion that creates inner turmoil in us that's really bad for us. And that's something that the proverb figuratively points to by saying it will rot your bones. But you know, I think that point is not totally figurative because a healthy inner heart is part of what leads to a healthy outer body. Uh, if our guts are wrenched inside with envy, that's not gonna be good for our spirits or our body. And conversely, peace is this wonderful life-giving thing for both our spirits and our bodies. And the truth is that the more our hearts are filled with envy, the more that pushes out the peace. Uh, and there's a real danger that we can become so consumed by envy that there's really no room left in our hearts for any kind of peace at all. We also need to reckon with the fact that in most cases, envy arises when we are experiencing dissatisfaction with our own lives. And if you really consider uh, where that grows from, at the core, envy involves a lack of faith. It's uh, not really trusting or believing that God is uh, powerful enough to provide for us or cares deeply enough to, to do that, to take care of us. Um, it's not really believing that he has a wonderful plan for us. But abundant life, full life, that's something that we find in Jesus by putting our faith in him and trusting our lives to him. And it's in Jesus alone that our hearts can be filled with true peace. In John 14, 27, Jesus said, peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. And the more we put our faith in Jesus and the more we trust our lives to him, the more our hearts will be filled with that peace from him. So let's do that. Let's uh, seek to put our faith in Jesus, to trust our lives to him so that our hearts might be filled with his peace. And at the same time, may we guard our hearts against envy, which can rob us of peace and lead us in unpeaceful ways.